Good evening, and welcome to Big Z Sports' presentation of high school softball. Tonight in this IVC matchup, the Garraway Pirates host the Tusky Valley Trojans. Tonight's game is presented by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Wayne Door, Wood Electric, Wendy's, Unified Insulation, and McInturf Realty. Now, let's head to the field with Big Z Sports. Welcome into high school softball action presented by the Tuscarawa Insurance Agency for Big Z Sports and Claxon Communications. We are at Garraway High School today for the Garraway Lady Pirates and the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joe Geckler, along with Stumpy. Aaron Stump joins me here on Play by Play today as the Lady Trojans and Lady Pirates battle it out on the hill on a beautiful day. A little windy. You're going to hear a little wind in our mics today, but <laughs> wouldn't expect anything less than being on the hill and uh, having some wind up here, Stumpy. I tell you what, uh, Mother Nature has not been very cooperative this uh, baseball and softball season around uh, here, but uh, we will take this. We got some uh, darker clouds, look like they're blowing in, but uh, we're going to get this game started and see if we can get a full game in. Yeah, absolutely. It uh, it looks like it's uh, maybe going to, maybe hopefully blow off to the south of us a little bit here, and uh, they weren't calling for any rain till later tonight, but it looks like uh, it may sneak in, try to sneak in here before uh, the sun sets. Uh, uh, later on this evening, but uh, going to be a nice day for some high school softball. Nonetheless, here on the hill in Sugar Creek, we're going to uh, take a break, come back, and we're in the middle of our Wood Electric pregame show. We're going to be joined in the dugout by Tusky Valley head coach, and then also after that, we'll be joined by Rick Johnson, the Tusky Valley, or the Garraway head coach, excuse me, and that's all brought to you by the Cush Financial Group. That's after this timeout. You're listening to Big Z Sports right here with Claxon Communications. Hi, I'm Zach Motais with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. 
Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best: sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee, or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. Welcome back to the Wood Electric pregame show. Joe Geckler in the dugout with Tusky Valley head coach Tony Pekanke, presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coach, here we are, early season. Talk to us about how you feel the Lady Trojans are doing so far this year. It's it's an experience, right? We are young. You know, we're starting three freshmen in key spots. So growth is a big thing for us every day. We come out, our job is to come out and compete and, and stack good days on top of each other, get better every day, and uh, work on the small things to continue to improve, to keep climbing the hill. Coach, a beautiful day for some high school softball. We know in spring in Ohio, the weather can change day to day. How hard is it to keep a young team that you have focused on a day to day, whether you have a game or all of a sudden you have to switch to a practice? How hard is it to keep them focused? Uh, extremely, but it's Ohio and we've all lived in it for our whole lives. So we understand the nature of what we do. It's, it's one day you're inside one the next day you're outside. So it's at the, and it could change. It could change at noon every day. So the idea is just to always keep that mentality, to keep the girls flexible, understand they have, they're packed for winter, spring and summer in their bags all at once. So that way we can, we can go get work no matter where we got to go. Coach, you make the trip here to Garraway to take on the Lady Pirates. What do you know about them, and what do you expect from them here today? Uh, I know they're uh, they got some experience on the mound, so we know what to expect there. She's a, has a lot, had a lot of success over the last three years, so we know what to expect in the mound. Um, they're going to be fundamentally sound. You know, they've they've been doing really well the last three four years and and continuing to play the game the right way. So you know, our idea is just to come out and do the little things right make the routine plays and and go out there and be aggressive and, and try to get a w finally coach what are your three keys for the lady trojans to knock off the lady pirates and get that elusive first win on this young season uh the idea is to start with strike one strike one every at bat we got to get ahead of hitters and ideally make the routine plays not we're not trying to go out there and make all-star plays but if we make the routine plays we're going to be all right and we got to put the ball in play we can't uh, wave at strike three or watch strike three we just got to continue to put the ball in play and and keep the pressure on them Thanks, Coach. Good luck and have fun. Thank you very much. That was Tusky Valley Head Coach Tony Pekanke joining me in the dugout presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coming up next, I'll be joined in the dugout by Garraway Head Coach Rick Johnson. That's right here with Big Z Sports. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at PAC. Drilling.com. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. 
Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting harslers.com. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Fad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Welcome back to the Wood Electric pregame show. Joe Geckler in the dugout with Garraway head coach Rick Johnson presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coach, we saw you on Saturday afternoon after a tough loss to a really good new Philadelphia team. What was the message to your ladies? Um, come out, start the game the way we finished the game. Um, I, I was happy with how we played defense the last three innings there. Uh, we gave up 10 of their 11 runs in the first three innings um, and, and, and four errors in those first three innings. So we cleaned up the, our game towards the end of that. If we can come out today and, and play good, clean ball, uh, clean up our errors, um, and make throws to first and get some outs when we need to, um, we'll be we'll get better. Coach, obviously the weather's a, a, a world difference from when it was on Saturday. Really cold and blustery. Today's beautiful weather here on the hill in Sugar Creek. Uh, you got the Lady Trojans of Tusky Valley. What do you know about them? What do you expect from them? Um, I don't know a whole lot about them just yet this year. Um, I know they've got a good young freshman pitcher from what I hear um, and, and, a, and a handful of good hitters. Uh, I think we won both games against them last year. Um, as long as we can control their sticks and, and make them hit balls into, into, into our girls and uh, keep them on the ground, and we can make plays, I like our chances. Finally, Coach, what are your three keys for the Lady Pirates to knock off the Lady Trojans here today? Uh, just like on Saturday, uh, Bell hitting her spot, spinning the ball, um, controlling, the, controlling the circle in the box. Um, and when there are balls in place, our defense has got to make plays. Um, if we can make those and, and then put some more balls in play. Saturday, I was happy we cleaned up our strikeouts. We only had three, um, but we had some weak contact balls. So finding finding solid contact, hitting harder balls through the infield, and, and see what happens here. Thanks, Coach. Good luck here and have fun. All right. Thank you. That was Garraway Head Coach Rick Johnson joining me in the dugout, presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coming up next, the windy starting lineups and first pitch of the Lady Pirates and Lady Trojans right here with Big Z Sports. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 Littles with Bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. 
See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Welcome back to Garraway High School. Joe Geckler, Aaron Stump on the hill in Sugar Creek for the Lady Trojans of Tusky Valley and the Garraway Lady Pirates in high school softball action. Big thanks to Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, and we are in our Wood Electric pregame show. Wrapping up our pregame show, we're going to get to the starting lineups. First for the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans, leading off in batting first, wearing number four, playing center field, Ellie Wallach. Number 39, Brenna Reichman. She's in the circle today and batting second. Batting third, number 16, Mesa Brown. She's at third base. Uh, batting cleanup, number 33, Delaney Erickson. She's in left field. Batting fifth, number 15, Kira Garbrandt. She's the designated player. Number 28, Emma Reniker. She's in right field, batting sixth. Batting seventh, number 18, Ariana Wade. She is catching today. Batting eighth, number 21, Ashley Bensley. She's at first base. And number five, Morgan Wright. She's at second base and batting ninth. And your flex player today, number 11, Leah Wright. And again, we go Wallach, Reichman, Brown, Erickson, Garbrandt, Reniker, Wade, Bensley, Wright, and Wright at the bottom of the order for the Lady Trojans. Take a look at the starting lineup for the Garraway Lady Pirates as we um, are a little ahead of schedule here today, so we'll go ahead and do the Garraway lineup for you as well. Number two, Grace Yoder. She leads off and plays third base. Number three, Belle Tatro. She's in the circle today for the Lady Pirates. Number seven, Krista Miller. She's at second base, batting third. Batting fourth, number 28, Kayla Miller. She's at shortstop. Number five, Zoe Jump. She is catching tonight and batting fifth. Batting sixth, number 18, Lexi Erb. She's at first base. Batting seventh, number 25, Nadia Pope. She's in center field. Number 19, Clay Glenn. She's in right field, batting number eight. And batting ninth, number eight, Ashley Yoder. She's in left field. Again, Yoder, Tatro, Miller, Miller, Jump, Herb, Pope, Glazier, and Yoder for the Pirates here today. And Stumpy, uh, going to be a fun matchup. As you can hear, the wind blowing in our mics a little bit. Uh, looks like some uh, weather is kind of blowing around us. And I was uh, kidding around with uh, Garraway Athletic Director Chip Amico, and I said, hey, we're up on the hill, so this weather is going to split and go <laughs> south and go north. He goes, I like your thinking. And uh, hopefully that's uh, what we get here. Maybe the sun will come back out as well before we're done here tonight uh, in our matchup between Tusky Valley and Garraway. I say all our ADs right now are just uh, happy to see an open date right now. And uh, <laughs> like the only nice day for the other Sunday and our AEDs and rightfully so like to stay off Sundays and Monday we had a nice day you got the solar eclipse which yeah. I'm sure we'll talk about a little bit later during the uh, game here and, and uh, again just the nice the, the nice thing is when you look at the flags that thing's blowing straight center field right now so it's blowing out we could see some home runs here today Stumpy uh, this uh, field gives up some home runs with the, uh, uh, with the wind, especially when it blows out of here. And uh, this, the wind, it's, you know, west to east. And uh, if you look uh, center field, uh, where's that at? That's uh, more east, uh, northeast. So the wind kind of tends to blow out of here a lot. So the field gives up uh, some home runs. You get it up in the jet stream, so to speak, and it'll get out of here. Yeah, we've seen a, a couple games already this season where uh, some, some ladies have got a hold of some uh, games. Did I just feel a drop? I did not just feel a drop. No, right. I think it was a bird so, peed so on you. Say you're spitting on yeah. me or something. Bird, I don't know. bird peed on you, I think. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we've seen some that the wind have just killed. And uh, like I said, it'll be interesting, to, uh, like you said, how this uh, wind uh, takes care of those balls and throws them over the fence. Yeah, it's going to be a fun matchup tonight. Uh, a little, like I said, a little cloudy. Umpires are here waiting, and it looks like Garraway's finishing their uh, warm-ups here in the pregame and getting their infield in. And uh, Bill Tatro's uh, throwing some uh, short hops to the catcher as we uh, as we get ready for first pitch uh, here any minute. As Garraway again finishing up their warm-ups here on the hill. Going to have a fun game here tonight. Again, big thanks to Claxon Communications crew tonight. Uh, we will have uh, Sean Troyer as our producer, Logan McPeak and Carson Zoller on cameras for us tonight. Of course, the main man, Casey Claxon, here as well. He's here to make sure that I stay in line and uh, <laughs> and you stay in line as well. So, uh, you know, he has to, they have to call out the big dogs when we're together, Stumpy. Yeah, we're a lot of trouble when we get together. In fact, this is the first actual game that we've done by ourselves. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people checking us out right now, the, making sure 
sure we don't do anything off the wall. This is the first game because football season. I don't see you. You yep. know, uh, you know, we don't. Uh, you don't do much for us for football, but uh, you string some uh, Tusky Valley stuff for us, which is awesome. Basketball. You, uh, you, you come up in the booth and go into the color side of things, and I'm down away from you on the sidelines <laughs> when I'm doing the game, so I don't even interact with you very much. They probably separate us on purpose. I think they do, <laughs> and then they bring us back together here in softball. But uh, it's always fun, uh, Tusky. When we go to Tusky Valley, I get to hold a mic up like I'm interviewing you, and you're just yelling <laughs> in it and act, acting obnoxious, you know, and uh, doing the starting lineups, which uh, always a highlight of uh, my uh, trip to Tusky Valley. So Yeah, that's always a lot of fun. Like I said, uh, one of the things we really get to do is really see a lot of these high school kids and a lot of the sports we do, and it, it's a real privilege, and it's a whole lot of fun to be out here and when watching the, today a, a good softball game that we anticipate and really seeing these athletes really compete and have a good time. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, we're about ready to get started here. We're about uh, two minutes after 5 o'clock. Uh, I was told first pitch was 5 o'clock, but I think Tusky Valley got here a little bit later than anticipated, so behind schedule just a little bit here as we're wrapping up our Wood Electric pregame show. We're going to take another break, come back, uh, play some spots, and uh, get caught up on some commercials, and we'll do that, and we'll be back here with first pitch after this. You're listening to Big Z Sports right here with Claxon Communications. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. homeowners are you ready to give your home a spring makeover the wayne door annual spring sale is happening april 1st through the 6th get ready to save big on garage doors entry doors windows and more it's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank visit our dover and cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts let's make that spring dream a reality and don't forget for every 500 dollars spent enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes visit waynedoor.com for more details and we'll see you april 1st through the 6th for the wayne door annual spring sale Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting Hartzler's.com. 
Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Wendy's new breakfast two for $3 Biggie Bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for $3 Biggie Bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. Really, her last night is that really? Welcome back to Garraway High School. We are getting ready for our first pitch as they introduce both teams here. We had to uh, put the tent up just in case we started feeling a little you jinxed this, I think, Stumpy. <laughs> uh, talking about uh, what would you say it was a raindrop that hit me, yeah. and I said no, a bird peed, and yeah. we had a couple uh, parents come over and say, hey, there is some rain coming, so you might want to put your tent up, and that's what we did. So we're sitting under a tent right now for the time being, and. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll get started here as they're doing the starting lineups again. Let me run down the starting lineups for the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans one more time before we get started here today. Number four, Ellie Wallach, she leads off and is in center field. Number 39, Brenna Reichman, she's in the circle today batting second. Number 16, Mesa Brown, she's at third base batting third. Delaney Erickson, she's in left field batting fourth and wearing number 33. Number 15, Kira Garbrandt, she's the designated player today. Emma uh, Reniker, she number 28, plays right field and bats sixth. Number 18, Ariana Wade, she is catching, batting seventh. Batting eighth, number 21, Ashley Bensley, she's at first base. And number, nah, number five, uh, Morgan Wright, she's at second base. And where's number five, Leah Wright, number 11, she is your flex player today for the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. Again, we have Wallach, Reichman, Brown, Erickson, Garbrandt, or Garbrandt, Reniker, Wade, Bensley, Wright, and Wright as well for the Lady Trojans. For the Lady Pirates, Grace Yoder, she wears number two, bats lead off, and is at third base. Number three, Bell Tatro, she's in the circle today for the Lady Pirates. Number seven, Krista Miller, she's at second base. Number 28, Kayla Miller, she's at shortstop. Number five, Zoe Jump is catching today, batting fifth as well. Number 18, uh, Lexi Erb is at first base, batting sixth. Number seven, Nadia Pope. She's in center field, wears number 25. Number 19, Kalea Glazier. She's in right field, wearing number 19. And number eight, Ashley Yoder. She's in left field, batting ninth. Now the national anthem. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com.
Here on the hill in Sugar Creek, getting a little windy here. Hopefully the uh, the rain will hold off as uh, we put up the uh, put up the tent uh, just in case. Uh, you know we don't mind getting a little wet. We have uh, equipment to keep safe, <laughs> right, Stumpy? That's my story. <laughs> that's that's what we're sticking to, isn't it? Absolutely, it is. So going to be a, a fun matchup here today, as we mentioned. Uh, weather beautiful coming into this evening. Uh, getting a little windy, like I mentioned. And, uh, you know, we got uh, the Garraway Lady Pirates in all white, red stripes, red numerals, red letters on their uniforms. We have the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans in all black, red numerals, trimmed in white with some red trimming on their uniforms as well. So a mixture of white and black today uh, going to be fun. Uh, we saw Saturday when Garraway was out at New Philly, they had black uniforms with the uh, Carolina blue uh, striping oh, really? on them. Really nice looking uniforms. I, I like the all white too as well. So has the uh, GHS on the front of their uniform do uh, the lady pirates so gonna be uh gonna be a fun matchup of a young young teams you have a veteran pitcher in Beltatro in the circle for the lady pirates but uh, young all the way around for the lady pirates they have two seniors uh, they they play a bunch of freshmen and sophomores just like tusky valley does but i think the the uh the difference maker could be the the, the pitcher in the circle today for the Lady Pirates and uh, Bell Tatro. She's a career strikeout leader, single season strikeout leader, uh, wins leader, all kinds of stuff, all kind of records for the Lady Pirates. But uh, this Tusky Valley Lady Trojans team, they're not going to back down from anybody. Yeah, that, that's the nice thing. A lot of the games we've had up to this point, they, they've had to rely on those underclassmen to, to really hit some runs in, to get those timely hits. And uh, today's probably not going to be any different. Getting ready to start here is uh, number four, Ellie Wallach steps in. She bats lead off and plays center field. And now the first pitch from Tatro going to be high and inside as Wallach ducks down and gets out of the way for ball one. Yeah, there's not too many uh, teams that uh, their first two batters are freshmen for them right now. And, uh, again, a lot of these, uh, the both of these, uh, Ellie and uh, Brennan Reichman coming up next. Uh, a lot of talent coming up. And uh, Tusky Valley's blessed uh, with two really good freshmen right now. The 1-0 pitch going to be swung on and fouled back behind us for strike one and out of play. So one ball, one strike now to the freshman, Ellie Wallach. She wears number four, bats from the right side. She's a three-sport three, uh, three, three sport star at Tusky Valley, volleyball, basketball, and now softball. The 1-1 pitch, changeup going to be on the inside corner for strike number two. So one ball and two strikes to the freshman. Center fielder Ellie Wallach. She got a home run earlier in the season off of uh, Indian Valley. Now the one-two pitch. Going to be low and outside for ball two. Evens the count now at two balls and two strikes to Wallach. She looks, looks down to the coach to get the sign and gets what she wants and steps back in. Good pitch by Bell there. Uh, you know, nothing too close right there. Great uh, discipline by Ellie. Gives you a full count still ahead if you're the pitcher and got everything in your arsenal right now to throw at her. The 2-2 pitch swung on and missed. Strike three as Wallach swings and misses at a high fastball outside for out number one. It's going to bring in number 39, Brenna Reichman. She's in the circle today for the Lady Trojans. She is also a freshman, as Aaron mentioned a minute ago. Two freshmen at the top of the order for the Lady Trojans. Reichman stands six feet tall. She's a tall one. It's a lot of leverage. Swung on and hit down the first baseline and foul for strike one. Today's first pitch was brought to you by the Buckeye Career Center and, of course, our starting lineups. We did them several times for you tonight, the, uh, presented by Wendy's. So uh, we're out of our Wood Electric pregame show and into play-by-play -play now. And the 0-1 pitch swung on and popped up. Wind's going to wreak havoc as the shortstop and the second baseman come together, but they uh, were able to make the catch. The Kayla Miller was able to hang on to it there at shortstop as the wind's wreaking havoc out there. The wind's, the wind's blowing directly out to center field. The American flag out in uh, left center is almost standing straight out as the wind's blowing pretty good here. Kristen Miller from second base came and uh, thankfully backed her up, had her glove right under her just in case it blew overhead. So great uh, team defense there. First pitch to number 16, Mesa Brown is on the outside corner for strike one. She plays third, does Brown for the Lady Trojans and bats third. You know, one of the challenges the pitchers have had up to this point of the season, we, it's been really cold up to this point, so it's taken an inning or two of them to get warmed up. But you've got uh, Bell in that mound right now looking good early. 
Changeup got Brown out in front on a swing and a miss. So no balls and two strikes now to Mesa Brown. Where's number 16, bats from the right side. Long ponytail at the back of her helmet. Bell gets her pitch and delivers. Going to be high for ball one. As so, the infamous Bob Uecker used to say, just a bit high. <laughs> just a bit outside. <laughs> you know, that uh, at, this, at this date in 1989, that movie was number one in the country. Really? Yeah. So the one-two pitch to Brown. Just outside for ball two. Now, were you saving that trivia just for now, or, like, did you just know no, that and no, just have to put it in? The funny thing is, I saw it earlier today. <laughs> I was uh, eating lunch, and I was just strolling through Twitter, and or X, or whatever they call it now. And uh, So, yeah, I saw that, and I said, I'll use that tonight. Strike three, swinging by Brown, and that's going to do it. One, two, three inning for the Lady Trojans. And after a half inning, no score. Coming up, the Lady Pirates come to bat after this with Big Z Sports. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting harslers.com. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone, and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Welcome back to Garraway High School. Joe Geckler, Aaron Stump. Big thanks to Tuscarawa Insurance Agency today for our presenting sponsor all spring long for high school sports, whether it be softball, baseball, or even track and field coming up here in just a couple of weeks. We'll have that, and we are in the bottom of the first inning. No score between Tusky Valley Lady Trojans and the Garraway Lady Pirates. Real quick for the Garraway Pirates again, the starting lineup. Grace Yoder leads off. Bell Tatro, Krista Miller, Kayla Miller, Zoe Jump, Lexi Herb, Nadia Pope, Kalea Glazier and Ashley Yoder again starting lineups brought to you by Wendy's and in the circle today for the Lady Trojans is going to be Brenna Reichman the freshman she stands six feet tall and the first pitch going to be high and outside for ball one to Grace Yoder and being six feet tall she's got a great stride that comes right at you at home plate she's got long wingspan and uh, she, uh, she has a lot of uh, power behind that 1-0 pitch, swung on and missed for strike one. One ball and one strike now to Grace Yoder, the senior. Tusky Valley has two freshmen in their top two spots in their order. The Pirates, they have two seniors when Grace Yoder and Bell Tatro. Now the 1-1 pitch, swung on and fouled down the right field line and out of play for strike two. So one ball and two strikes now to Grace Yoder, the third baseman. Where's number two, bats from the right side. Again, the Pirates in all white uniforms today, red socks, red piping, stripes, red numerals, red letters on the uniform of GHS on the front. The 1-2 pitch from Reichman. Swung on and missed, strike three. And first out of the ball game is Grace Yoder going down on strikes. Going to bring in number three, Bell Tatro, the opposing pitcher, into the batter's box. I'll tell you, both pitchers, again, look really strong early. And from all indications so far, we're in for a pitcher's duel today. So Tatro steps in, bats from the right side. First pitch, swung on and missed for strike number one. Yeah, it's kind of a nice luxury for Coach Johnson to have two seniors leading off, especially as you get further in the season in a playoff. Again, usually they're keeping the nerves down to your underclassmen and do a great job leading their teams. The you know, one pitch just low and outside for ball number one. One ball, one strike now to Bell Tatro. Pitcher, pitcher versus pitcher, senior versus freshman. On this matchup, one out, bottom of the first, no score between Tusky Valley and Garraway. 1-1 one, one pitch fouled off to the screen. Makes it one ball and two strikes now to Bell Tatro. Again, apologize for the wind here today. We have a we have a tent behind us, but uh, <laughs> the, the wind's kind of swirling. We're trying to block off uh, block off the wind a little bit and not doing a very 
good job. The one-two pitch going to be high and outside for ball two. Two balls and two strikes now to Bell Tatro, the senior pitcher for the Garraway Lady Pirates. Again, nice placement by Reichman. Nothing close, and uh, Bell doing a good job again uh, laying off that going 2-2. Two -two. Brenna Reichman in the circle today. The freshman has a 2-2 count on Tatro, the senior. Outside corner, strike three called. Reichman gets Tatro. Two outs in the inning. Going to bring in number seven, Krista Miller. It's a great placement right on the outside corner there. Just caught the edge of the plate for the third strike. So Krista Miller, second baseman, wears number seven. And she is a sophomore. And the first pitch from Reichman. Just low for ball number one. <laughs> if I turn my head, it'll go away. Sounds like I block it. Uh, Whew, that width is uh, brutal. And now the 1-0 one, one -oh pitch is going to be fouled back at the screen to make it one ball and one strike. I found a, I found a block. <laughs> Hold the, the, ba the, ba the Mac Turf <laughs> Realty uh, Player of the Game shirt up to my head here to block the wind and the mic. Uh -huh. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get wet. The 1-1 pitch changeup going to be high and outside for ball number two. Two balls and one strike to Krista Miller. No score. Bottom of the first between Garraway and Tusky Valley. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled off again for strike two. That evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Two outs here, both by strikeout. Grace Yoder swinging and Bell Tatro looking to start the inning. Yeah, both pitchers, again, done a really nice job of being ahead of the counts and uh, really being effective. The 2-2 pitch changeup driven to shortstop and caught by the shortstop. And that's going to be out number three here of the bottom of the first. And the Pirates go one, two, three. And after one, no score between the Trojans and Pirates. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Thad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way to TMK, service with a personal touch. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Top of the second inning back at Garraway High School and a 1-0 pitch to the leadoff hitter for the Lady, uh, Lady Trojans, Delaney Erickson, goes low for ball number one. No score between Tusky Valley, and that ball is gonna be popped up out to right field, it's gonna drop in between the second baseman and right fielder, and that's gonna be a base hit for Delaney Erickson, the first of the game. That got up in the wind like I was talking earlier, Stumpy, and uh, wreaked, havoc for, wreaked, wreaked havoc for the fielders. Yeah, that's a prime example without today's win. She's probably moving in to grab that ball, and it got up there and stayed up there, and again, just not able to quite get to it. So that's gonna bring in number 15, Kira Garbrandt. She's a designated player today. So a runner on first after the base hit. First pitch, gonna be strike right over the middle for strike one, no balls and one strike now to Garbrandt. That's gonna be the key to today's game too. Again, just making contact. Both of these pitchers have started off real strong this game. And again, you just wanna have that big advantage of scoring first and just a little bit of contact to wreak havoc. The 0 one pitch swung on and fouled off. That's going to make the count no balls and two strikes now to Garbrandt. Speaking of Garbrandt, Cody Garbrandt fights this weekend uh, in the UFC, so uh, going to be fun to watch that He's on Saturday night. Davison Figueroa, I think, is who he's uh, fighting, so that will be a good matchup <laughs> on Saturday. The 0-2 pitch swung on and fouled off again. The count remains at no balls and two strikes. I take it you're not a UFC guy. Not, I, I mean, I'll watch him. 
you know, but don't follow it that strong. And we got our producer sitting here, and he's nodding away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm there, man. We'll, we'll be watching that one. <laughs> I, think so. I, 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 bet you, I bet you Sean was watching a little bit of WrestleMania over the weekend as well. No? No? Okay. Well, I, I will admit, I watched both nights of that. The uh, no ball, two-strike pitch, swung on and missed for strike three, and out number one here in the top of the second inning. Again, big strike out by Bell there. First out of the inning. Strat left on first base right now. Number 28, Emma Renneker, the right fielder, steps in. Oh, we got some headlights on. Well, that's uh, great uh, officiating there by the home plate umpire. Caught the headlights that were on. and From the back of his head, no less. I know, right? That, he that's must have eyes right in the back there. of his that's head. <laughs> so Renneker steps in with a runner on first and one out here in the top of the second inning. No score between Garraway and Tusky Valley. Going to be driven out to right field, and it will be caught for out number two. So two outs now in the inning on the fly out by Renneker. Still a runner on first, though. I number tell you, number 18, Ariana Wade steps in, the catcher for the Lady Trojans. Clea Glazer with the uh, catch back there, and she really took that wind in consideration, really played that ball smart, only had to take a couple steps in and played it well. First pitch swung on and missed for strike one to Ariana Wade. Got some uh, rain coming down now, Joe. Actually, kind of liking this tent right now. Uh, this tent's very helpful <laughs> for us right now. We uh, appreciate the, uh, the the folks that helped us put up in between innings and uh, strike two swinging by Wade and makes the count no balls and two strikes. We wouldn't have the uh, tent up. Uh, we'd be getting wet right now. Uh, <laughs> it'd be a lot of equipment right now getting wet. And uh, I know uh, Casey Claxon helped out with that. We appreciate it. A couple Garraway parents helped out. So uh, very, very, uh, and then uh, Principal uh, Haas here for Garraway helped out as well. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that's going to be out number three here in the top of the second inning. And no score, but one hit in the inning by Tusky Valley. Back with the bottom of the second after this with Big Z Sports. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. Bottom of the second inning, no score between Tusky Valley and Garraway. Joe Geckler and Aaron Stump on the hill in Sugar Creek as the Lady Pirates and Lady Trojans play some high school softball today. Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, our presenting sponsor for Big Z Sports on our YouTube channel. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so because you get notified no matter what we're doing. If it's football, if it's our coaches show, if it's basketball, softball, baseball, track, whatever it is we're doing, you're going to get notified. It's free to do it as well. First pitch is going to be inside to Kayla Miller, the shortstop of the Garraway Lady Pirates. So ball one. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on social media as well on Instagram, Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, and on our Facebook page as well. So now the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed for strike one. Checking out the radar in our break there, uh, Stumpy. Uh, looks like there's a, just a little cell over top of us. Uh, doesn't look like there's much behind it. But you never know with uh, Ohio. It could start <laughs> snowing. You know, it, uh, we had 75-degree weather, and it could snow by the end of the night. You it is know. literally going to <clears throat> blow over quickly. And like you said, doesn't look like there's anything behind it. Swung on and fouled back to the screen. Kayla Miller again, the shortstop, leading off for the Garraway Lady Pirates here in the bottom of the second inning. <clears throat> I'm impressed. I mean, play-by-play -play Geckler went to meteorologist Geckler, back to play-by-play. -play. I mean, dude, you got it all going tonight. Sometimes you have to do that in the spring. You <laughs> never know what's going to happen. Swung on and miss for strike number three. And that's going to be out number one here in the bottom of the second inning. 
It'll be Brennan Reichman's third strikeout of the game. Fourth, uh, fourth out of the game. Three of them uh, coming out on strikeouts. Now number five, Zoe Jump, the catcher. She steps into the batter's box. She wears five, bats number five, bats fifth. So Reichman first pitch swung on and found back to the screen. Pirates are getting some some contact on the ball, but getting it uh, back to the uh, back to the screen here. Uh, getting some uh, tipped balls, getting some uh, getting some metal on the bat or on the ball. Excuse me. The 0-1 pitch swung on and back to Reichman in the circle. She fires the first for out number two. The put out goes one to three. If you're scoring at home for out number two. Said even for a freshman, a lot of times when those pitchers get the ball hit right back to them, they kind of panic and throw that ball in a hurry. And she did a great job, took her time, fired it right to first base, and uh, good for the second out. Now stepping in to bat for the Lady Pirates, going to be number 18, Lexi Erb. She is the first baseman. Two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Outside corner for strike one. Man, thinking up to this point, Joe, we have not gone to ball three yet in this game. I don't think we have. The 0-1 pitch inside corner for strike number two. No balls and two strikes now to Lexi Erb. Two outs here, bottom of the. Not saying it again. Everybody's lights have got to go off. Even those little ones are a distraction. They got to go too. So the umpire is trying to keep. Uh, the people from keeping their lights on uh, behind home plate. Uh, so we got to make sure that we turn the lights off, folks. It uh, distracts the players and batters and pitchers and everybody uh, participating in the game. So we got to keep things fair. We got some on out in the outfield as well. We need to get those turned off. And the umpire doing a nice job of not continuing until. Uh Tell you, it's a, it's a great facility they have here at Garraway. And the. Uh the way it sits is the uh, the cars are parked probably about 10 feet above the playing surface and with the lights on goes right into the fielder's eyes right now and it's kind of gotten dark right now. It has, it has. It, uh, if it was a bright sunny day, maybe not a problem, but uh, right now it's an issue. So he's continuing to uh, making sure the lights are off here. Right, go. Continue playing now. Count no balls and two strikes to the batter, Lexi Erb, the first baseman of the Garraway Lady Pirates. Now the 0-2 pitch. Going to be high and outside for ball one. Sounds like we got popcorn now uh, in our ears right now. The yeah, the rain, the rain hitting that <laughs> wonderful tent that's above us and Umpire not playing around here tonight with the lights. He's said, I'm about done playing with this. Hopefully uh, our equipment can stay dry here as it's uh, starting to blow and the ball's fouled off to the screen here. As uh, I, you, You're dry. I'm on the edge here, That's man. It. It's like, whew. It's getting a little chilly. I don't know who sat us in this order, but uh, thank you. I, I think I did. Uh, I think I uh, hosed myself a little bit. I did that so I could see down the uh, right field line a little bit better, but uh, I'd rather be where you're at, I think. <laughs> It'll be low for ball number two. Two balls and two strikes to Lexi Herb, the first baseman for the Garraway Lady Pirates. Wonderful weather in Ohio in April. We get sunny skies and then... Just all of a sudden rain pops up, so that's what we're dealing with right now. But I said, unfortunately, to this point, both pitchers have been doing great. Now you're dealing with a wet ball, and again, how do, how do both pitchers deal with it? Wet balls can get slippery, slip out of your hand. The, as you saw there from uh, Reichman on that pitch, she uh, lost control of it a little bit just due to the fact that the ball was wet. And she asked for another ball, and she got one to her liking. 
Yeah, the managers for both teams are going to have their uh, work cut out for them trying to keep uh, the softballs nice and dry and rotated for the pitchers. Be high and outside for ball number four. So Herb works a walk here, gets on base, and that's going to bring in number 25, Nadia Pope, the center fielder for the Lady Pirates. I said he kind of wondered how much the rain had to do with that walk because, again, they had her 0-2 and, and uh, four straight balls uh, put her on first. So two outs here, bottom of the first, runner on first after the walk. Brings in Pope. First pitch is going to be low and off the turf for ball one. You know, the great thing about softball, everybody's playing on the same field and the same elements. So. Trying to keep the balls wet. Going to be a chore here for a little bit, trying to get through this little uh, rain episode that we're having and you wonder how much it just becomes mental after a while it's mental with me right now <laughs> <laughs> be high for ball number two and it's almost like right now she's trying to over grip the ball knowing it's you know slipping out of her hand a lot and almost trying to to aim it a little bit so looks like we got a few more minutes of this and uh, hopefully it'll uh, clear out of here not much behind it at all. Looks like it stopped there right now. I don't hear the popcorn on our I'll tent anymore, this. so that's a good sign. Yeah. Like I said, according to radar, it doesn't look like there's anything behind it. My papers are all wet. My book's, my book's dry. Hey, that's keep all that the matters. Book dry. That's the book, right. The book is dry. Our uh, player of the game shirt's a little wet, but hey, you know what? It'll dry. They can put <laughs> it in the dryer. Whoever uh, wins it here tonight. The coveted uh, McIntyre player of the game t-shirt. Give out a lot of those shirts throughout the high school sports season. Two balls and no strikes to Nadia Pope. That's going to be strike one, number one. After about five straight balls thrown by uh, Reichman after the ball uh, kept getting wet from the rain. And uh, it was raining pretty good there for a little bit, but uh, sounds like it may have stopped. A 2-1 count, going to be high and outside as the runner heads on down to second on the pass ball. Herb now in scoring position with a count of three and one to Nadia Pope, your center fielder for the Lady Trojans. Again, we had Tusky Valley had their leadoff get on last game, left them at first, and right now you got Garraway with a, a player at second with two outs, and that run could be pivotal. A throw down to third base. And she nice. is out at third base, and that's going to do it on the put out two to five on the attempted stolen base by Lexi Erb. So Nadia Pope will lead off the next inning. So that's three outs, and that's the end of the second. No score between Garraway and Tusky Valley. Back after this with Big Z Sports. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready-mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. Top of the third inning back here at Garraway High School. Ashley Bensley steps, Bensley steps into the batter's box, takes strike one from Tatro. The changeup got her out in front for strike two. Nice changeup there from Bell. Tatro keeps Bensley off balance. No score here at top of the third between the Lady Trojans and Lady Pirates. As Tatro has struck out four on the day. Two in each inning, two in the first, two in the second. On to the third inning now with Bensley in a 0-2 count. 
Ashley Bisley, a three-star athlete, volleyball, basketball, and now softball. Going to be high for ball number one. Nice eye there from Bensley, the first baseman. Where's number 21? Bats from the right side. Long ponytail sticking out the back of her helmet. As you see, most girls in softball have the, the long ponytail. 1-2 pitch, swung on and missed for strike number three and strikeout number five for Tatro. Going to bring in number five, Morgan Wright, the second baseman. She bats from the right side. Tatro gets her sign, nods her head, now spins it. It's going to be high for ball number one. Good. Bell doing a nice job coming out. Uh, has the towel uh, behind her as well, keeping her hands dry, using the, the rosin bag, and still in complete control of her pitches. 1 0 pitch. High for ball number two to Morgan Wright. Tell you, Morgan, a good eye again. Well, those get a little bit high in the zone, and there's just that natural tendency to want to go after those so bad. And she's doing a great job with discipline going 0 2. 2-0 pitch on the outside corner for strike number one. So two balls and one strikes now to right. Tatro with a nice change up there on the outside corner to get strike number one. The 2-1 pitch outside corner again to the dismay of Morgan Wright. Didn't yeah. like that call, but uh, that was a strike. Nonetheless, on the outside corner, painted uh, maybe a little extra white on the uh, turf, <laughs> on the orange turf there, but... Uh, uh, she got the extension of the corner. So two balls, two strikes now to right. Going to be fouled off. Nope, it's going to stay in fair territory. Nice job by Alexi Erb to field that and step on first for out number two. They had a whole bunch of spin in it and <laughs> I was wondering what was going to happen. And uh, the first baseman did a great job. Lexi Erb staying right down on it, gathered it right up, took it the first herself. Now back to the top of the order for the Lady Trojans. Steps in freshman number four, Ellie Wallach, the center fielder. She struck out her first at bat here today on a 2-2 pitch. First pitch this time from Tatro. Going to be low, bounces in front of the plate for ball one. Nice eye there from Wallach. Well, a nice thing right now. Rain's gone through. Wind's kind of calmed down right now. and uh, You're not allowed to talk about the I, weather I, anymore. I think uh, we're going to have ourselves <laughs> a full ball game here. I hope so. It's going <laughs> to hopefully clear off, stay clear behind us, and uh, we'll get this one in tonight. Ellie Wallach at the plate. Two outs here in the top of the third inning. No, uh, One ball and no strikes to the freshman. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on and driven to third base. Nice catch there by the third baseman, Grace Yoder, to rob Ellie Wallach of possible base, uh, extra bases. And that's going to do it for the top of the third inning. No score as we head to the bottom of the third. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Hey, homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit waynedoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Bottom of the third inning back at Garraway High School. Joe Geckler and Aaron Stump here for Garraway and Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. First pitch to Pope, who uh, was at the plate when they caught Herb trying to steal third in the last inning. She takes ball one, so she gets another chance at it here. Fresh count, one ball and no strikes to Lexi Herb. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Nadia Pope, excuse me, in the batter's box. Two balls and no strikes as that one goes high. No score between... Garraway and Tusky Valley. Big thanks to our presenting sponsor, the Tuscarawa Insurance Agency, and all of our sponsors this spring during our spring sports broadcasting uh, time. Uh, of course, coming up at the end of the game, we're going to have our uh, Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show and announce our McInturf Realty Player of the Game. 
That's coming up at the end of our game. Our replay today brought to you by Wayne Doerr. The 2-0 pitch just outside for ball number three. Now three balls and no strikes to Pope. Thinking all three of those pitches up to that post, high and out of the zone right now. Kind of wonder if she's taking that plant foot and stepping far enough. There we go. So strike one. Actually, uh, that's Glazier batting. I thought Pope should have been up again because uh, Herb got out at third. And that's going to be strike number two as Glazier runs the count full now as Clay Glazier batting, excuse me, I said Nadia Pope, but not the whole time she's been up. So full count to Glazier, the right fielder. The payoff pitch. Strike three called for out number one here in the bottom of the third. Number eight, Ashley Yoder steps to the plate. She's the left fielder and bats ninth for the Lady Pirates. Again, no score, bottom of the third inning between Tusky Valley and Garraway. Reichman, first pitch high for ball number one. Tell you what, great mental fortitude by Miss Reichman coming back down 3-0. Ends up striking her out. Great, great bat, or great pitching. 1-0 pitch, going to be fouled off back to the screen here for strike one. One ball and one strike now to Ashley Yoder. On deck, Grace Yoder. And then Bell Tatro if they can get something going here in the bottom of the third inning. Now the 1-1 pitch. Just outside for ball number two. Two balls and one strike now for Ashley Yoder, the left fielder for the Lady Pirates. And the 2-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled back to the screen. Now two balls and two strikes. Run the count even. Does Yoder with the foul ball. One thing I love about high school softball <laughs> is I love the chatter. I, I love the chants and the chatter. That's something uh, you can sit here and listen to it and uh, you don't feel like you have to talk between every pitch. I say the Garraway Pirates are bringing it right now. Strike three called Ashley Yoder on the outside corner for Strikeout number one, two, three, four, five strikeouts now for Brenna Reichman. And that's going to take us back to the top of the order and bring in number two, Grace Yoder. She struck out, swinging her first time up to lead off the bottom of the first. Reichman delivers. Outside corner for strike one. I tell you, Reichman's had to work a little bit this inning, but it's almost like she's got that confidence back again and kind of hovering all around the plate, uh, doing a great job this inning. Now the 0-1 pitch, changeup just outside <laughs> for ball one. She went to the changeup to the outside corner. The umpire didn't give her that call, but she tried to get it. It's always kind of funny right after everyone kind of holds their breath and, okay, what's that call? 1-1 <laughs> one pitch just outside for ball number two. That's one thing pitchers will always do. Uh, they will try, you give them an inch, they're gonna take a mile. So they're gonna, they're gonna go, go, see how far they can go on that outside corner or inside corner. And uh, pitchers are very guilty of that. Swung on and popped up in the infield, caught off by Reichman. She makes the catch for out number three. And after three, no score between Tusky Valley and Garraway. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. 
Brennan Reichman leads off with the first pitch here on the hill and grounds out to the second baseman for out number one. So Reichman first pitch, one pitch, one out here in the top of the fourth inning. It's going to bring in Mesa Brown, the third baseman. She wears number 16, bats from the right side. She struck out swinging her first time up to end the first inning, the top of the uh, top of the first for the Lady Trojans. Swung on and popped up in the infield and caught by the first baseman, Herb, for out number two. Two pitches, two outs. That's uh, pretty quick. You can't really do it much faster <laughs> than that, Stumpy. This one's going pretty quick. Say it's going to be interesting with these players getting to see these pitchers for the second time. We've already seen them both had contact. Nothing really solid right now. Both of them on the infield easily taken care of for two outs and, like you said, on two pitches. Delaney Erickson steps in. She actually got the uh, the hit in the game for the Lady Trojans. Swung on and popped up back behind us and out of play for strike number one. So we almost had a, a one, two, three inning on three pitches, <laughs> but uh, that one got out of play. Delaney Erickson again. She's one for one on the day with a hit to – in between the second baseman and right fielder back in the second inning. Change up in the dirt. Said in fact, our only hit for both sides, I believe. Yeah, I believe, Garraway, they do not have a hit either. They have a walk, but yep. not a hit on the day. So only one hit in the ball game. Two base runners, one by each team. 1-1 one, one pitch. Going to be high for ball number two. Hey, Delaney only a sophomore again, another young talent for Tusky Valley and Coach Pekanke and has a young crew. Two balls, one strike. The pitch spout off right here in front of us and made me flinch, actually. Uh, two balls and two strikes. I know there's a fence in front of me, but it's just human nature to flinch at something like that. And it's always funny when it's the other yeah, guy. I know, right? <laughs> if it's you, yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> if it's the other guy, that's funny. <laughs> Watching reels on social media, sometimes they do that with foul uh, balls, and it comes back to you, like you flip the phone out of your hand or something. Uh, yeah, you feel like an idiot. But, yeah. you know what? It's just human nature. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and driven back up the middle. Picked up by the shortstop. Oh, in between her legs. And I'm going to give a base hit to Erickson on that play. It went right between the wickets of Bell Tatro. The shortstop tried to field it. Couldn't get a handle on it. So I'll give a base hit to Delaney Erickson. That's going to be her second hit of the ball game. And that's going to bring up Kira Garbrandt uh, with two outs here in the top of the fourth. Yeah, right, right through the wickets, like you said. But, uh, again, Bill uh, Tatro just, again, more of a self-defense uh, mode right there and having to protect yourself, not knowing how fast that ball's coming back to you. So, again, uh, girl on uh, first with uh, two outs here. A high pitch to Garbrandt. It's going to be ball number one. Again, runner on first, two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Erickson has the two hits on the day. She's two for two for the Lady Trojans. Tatro with the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike number one. One of my favorite things of watching uh, softball is the uh, the pitchers. Uh, you hear Bell Tatro if, uh, you know, I'm not talking when she's delivered. You can hear the grunt or the yell. She releases <laughs> it every time she pitches. Uh, some fun to listen. I'll let you try to pick it up here on this pitch if she does it. As you heard it there, strike number two and a swing and a miss by Garbrandt. Brings the count at one ball and two strikes. Bell Tatro, the infamous grunt. And she brings the heat behind it. She even grunts when she throws a changeup. <laughs> the one-two pitch now to Garbrandt. Strike three called on the inside corner, and that's going to do it. But one hit and a runner left, and after three and a half, no score between Garraway and Tusky Valley. Back after this with Big Z Sports. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising cost, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting Harslers.com. Hi, I'm Zach Motais with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. 
Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Bottom of the fourth inning, Bill Tatro swings at the first pitch and fouls it off into the fence along the third base line for strike number one. So no balls and one strike to Bell Tatro. Pitcher versus pitcher. See, I'll bet you on that foul ball, they, they flinched too when that ball hit oh, their I'm fence. sure they do. <laughs> the 0-1 pitch now. Outside corner for strike number two as Bell Tatro looks back with wide eyes saying, man, can I get that call when I'm uh, on in the circle? So no balls and two strikes. Umpire giving the outside corner here today, but he's been very consistent with it. Oh, she swings and misses, does Tatro at a high pitch, and she knew that she shouldn't have swung at that as soon as she starts swinging. She couldn't hold back for strikeout. And out number one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Yeah, those are the ones that get up in your eyes again. Very hard to lay off. And uh, Brennan doing a great job mixing up her pitches, and uh, Bell Tatro uh, going high for that one. Great bunt. As Krista Miller puts down a bun, and that's going to be a base hit. The first hit of the game for the Garraway Lady Pirates done by Krista Miller on a bunt single. Great bunt right down the line. Difficult uh, for any of the positions to get it. And uh, great speed down to first. It's going to bring up Kayla Miller, the shortstop. There's number 28. Runner on first. That's Krista Miller. Outside corner, they're going to throw it down to second on the steal attempt, and it's going to be no good as Krista Miller swipes second. And Kayla Miller took a strike on the outside corner for no balls and one strike. Krista and Kayla, they are sisters. Sophomores. That only make them, if they're in the same grade and they're sisters, I think they would make them twins. If I had to, uh, if I had to guess, total guess there, but I'm, I'm just putting two <laughs> and two together. Outside corner for strike number two. So no balls and two strikes. Runner on second is Krista Miller after a bunt single and a stolen base. Her sister Kayla Miller, the shortstop, has an 0-2 count on her now at the plate. Pitch. Swung on and popped up. That's going to be trouble in between the second baseman and right fielder. And here comes Miller. She's going to score all the way from second. And the Garraway Lady Pirates lead 1-0 on an RBI single by Kayla Miller. I'll tell you, big run right now the way both pitchers are pitching right now. Get a nice little bloop single right in the right field and scoring Krista Miller. That's going to bring in number five, Zoe Jump, the, uh, the catcher. Said nice little small ball by Garraway there. Great bunt down the first by line. She steals second and just got a little blooper down there in the right field to score in. Puts a bunt out down the third baseline, and that goes foul. Does Zoe jump? She's one, she's 0 for 1 on the day. Grounded back to Reichman in the circle. Her first at bat to lead off. Excuse me for the second out of the uh, second inning. So no balls and one strike to jump. Kayla Miller on first after the RBI single. They say, he, they say she offered at the bunt for strike number two. No balls, two strikes to Zoe Jump. One out here in the top or the bottom of the fourth inning. Garraway leads one nothing. Just scored their first run here a moment ago. The 0-2 pitch. Outside for ball number one. Again, great pitch by Brennan Reichman there. Just outside there a little bit. And a great discipline uh, by Miss Jump there not to take it. Now the one-two pitch. Going to be high and outside to the backstop as Miller advances on to second on the pass ball in scoring position. Two balls and two strikes now. To Zoe Jump, the catcher. Now the break-even pitch. Swung on and missed for strike number three and out number two here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Big strikeout right there. Two outs. So a runner on second still, but two outs now for the Lady Pirates. That's going to bring in number 18, Lexi Erb, the first baseman. She walked. 
and got the second, uh, got uh, forced out at second on a fielder's choice to end the second inning. Swing and a miss for strike one. So switching sports here quick, uh, you watched the game last night, the boys? B believe it or not, I did not. Um, I know it's kind of crazy. I had UConn. That's who my champion was. Right. I actually had the championship game picked correctly. Did you? Um, and I did pick UConn to win it all. So I did not watch it, though. Uh, ball outside evens the count now at one ball and one strike. I got busy doing stuff, and, uh, you know, I kind of forgot it was <laughs> on, and I looked up, and it was about 930, and I'm like, I'm going to bed. So uh, that's, that's the only downside, both with the, the girls' uh, Final Four and the boys' Final Four. Final Four. Man, they start that championship game so late. Swing and a miss by Herb. Brings the count at one ball and two strikes. Now, I did catch the women's national championship game on wow. Sunday afternoon. Was, was that a good one? That was a fun Holy game to watch. Yeah, and, uh, that was a great game. Caitlin Clark and uh, what, uh, what's the girl's name from South Carolina, the big girl? Yeah, one? I know. Uh, I can't think of her name, but I know, who you're, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Just outside, two balls and two strikes. I thought that game uh, was a good game, of course, uh, back and forth the whole way. And uh, South Carolina, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I heard uh, some uh, – some a sports talk show this morning, driving uh, for work, and you know they talked about how uh, real quick the two-two pitch swung on and fouled off the fence down the first base line <laughs> as Carson Zoller here <laughs> taking pictures and helping out with Claxton Communications uh, moved his feet like he was going to get hit by that ball, <laughs> kind of like I flinched and I know there's a fence in front of me. But uh, the best team in college basketball on the girls and boys side both won the championship. Not the best player. Ab absolutely, and again, just goes to. Oh, just a bit low there on that count. Goes again how much of these these are team sports and, uh, again, can be heavily dominated by individuals. Camilla Cardoza. Is that who it was? Yes. I uh, got help from that. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, DW. I'll just say that. I won't uh, <laughs> give up my source on that. Strike three called to, uh, to Lexi Herb, and that's going to do it here for the bottom of the fourth inning. But Garraway gets on the board with one run, and after four, Garraway won. Tusky Valley nothing. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best: sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee, or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. Top of the fifth inning here at Garraway High School. Joe Geckler and Aaron Stump bringing you high school softball thanks to the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. 1-0, Garraway leads first pitch to Emma Renneker is strike number one from Bell Tatro as the Pirates score in the bottom of the fourth inning to take the lead at 1-0 here in this ballgame. Swung on and fouled off to the screen. No balls and two strikes. Have to say some well, get well wishes to uh, one of our favorite football players uh, over the last three or four years. And uh, won't get to see him play anymore, but uh, Wyatt Wallach, uh, brother of Ellie Wallach here for the Tuskegee Valley Lady Trojans, uh, had his wisdom teeth pulled out today. And uh, uh, well wishes for him to, to get a speedy recovery there as the ball is fouled back and out of play. Count remains at no balls and two strikes. But uh, Wallach, uh, first team All-Ohioan and, and – um, and a great football player here for the Pirates over the last three or four years and uh, going to be missed on the hill on Friday nights for what, sure. What I really want to know, did we get any good video of the uh, anesthesia when he's coming out of it? I'll have to have to ask his mom and dad on that one. Maybe she can send me something. We can play it uh, We can play it on our broadcast here. That would go over really well, I'm sure. But uh, going to be one ball and two strikes now to Renneker. I'd love to have that video. That would be a good blackmail video. Ah, show that one at graduation. <laughs> Change up going to be low and outside for ball number two. Two balls and two strikes now to Emma Renneker. 
She's saying one. He's saying one ball, two strikes. I must have uh, gave her an extra ball somewhere. So I'll, I'll go by what the umpire says at one ball and two strikes. Swung on and fouled back. Count remains at one ball and two strikes. A great defensive swing right there. Good pitch by Bell Tatro right there. But again, just a better defensive uh, foul off by uh, Emma Reniker and lived to fight another pitch. So one ball, two strikes. Tatro gets what she wants and delivers. Swung on and popped up back behind us and out of play just to the uh, to the right of our tent. Luckily, our producer didn't get smacked in the head with that ball. So the count remains at one ball and two strikes. How about them Guardians, baby? Who? The Guardians, you know, the, the baseball team up north, Cleveland. Oh, the Guardians, yeah, I forgot, know, I forgot the about Indians, them. You, yeah. know, you oh, ever yeah. hear of them? Change up, <laughs> change up outside the count run even now. Two balls and two strikes. I have heard about them. I usually watch them four times a year when they play my red legs. So. I'm like, dude, you, you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm weird. You know that. I'm a Reds fan, so I grew yeah, up in Cincinnati. I mean, so, I mean, I root for the Guardians. Nobody's but perfect. Again, I know, but, I you know, know. Skyline's about the uh, best thing that comes out of those Cincinnati Reds games. Hey, now. <laughs> count remains even now at two balls and two strikes. And uh, at least I'm not a Sparty fan. You know uh, if you mean? could be so lucky to make Sure. I know, right? I'm, I'm telling you. Got to figure a way to root for those guys. I only root for them one time a year, and that's when they play that other <laughs> team up north. <laughs> that's oh. one thing we do have in common. Yes. <laughs> we both hate that other team, you know. But, yeah, the uh, Guardians playing well. I hate to see Justin Bieber get hurt. Or just Shane Bieber, I should say. Justin Bieber, yep. too. But 2-2 uh, <laughs> two, two pitch swung on and bounced up the middle for a base hit by Emma Reniker. And that's uh, going to be a nice base hit. Gets her on base with nobody out here and going to bring up Ariana Wade, the catcher for the Lady Trojans. Good talk to Emma. Really doing a great job battling there. Went down the count 2-2 two and two and a great hit right up the middle. Yeah, Shane Bieber with uh, Tommy John surgery going to have that, so he'll be out uh, at least till a little bit after the start of the year. Um, and it's a tough loss. It was a contract year for him as well, so we'll see what the Guardians do in bringing him back or not. I would assume they'll bring him back, but we'll have to wait and find out, I guess. Yeah, it seems, and I, again, don't know him personally, but it seems like a very high class. Uh, you know, you see him out in the community a lot, doing sure. a lot for the community and uh, – Again, you just kind of naturally root for those guys. First pitch to Wade, bunted down the first baseline, fielded, and that's going to get away and down the right field line. It's going to let the runner, Reniker, go all the way to third base, and she moves up on the error by the – that was going to – I'm going to give that to the first baseman. She's the one that threw it past the second baseman, so that's going to be an E3. But that allows Reniker to get all the way to third base. Again, great bunt there. Again, really pressured the first baseman to make a good play there and unfortunately wasn't able to. And Again, Emma Reniker going all the way down to third. And you got uh, people on the corner uh, with nobody. <laughs> we got uh, two text messages from uh, Wyatt's family. No video, and then I do see a funny picture. We'll, uh, we may post that up later as the first offering is, is bunted at and missed by Bensley, Ashley Bensley. But the runner does advance to second base. That's Ariana Wade. So runners at second and third now with uh, nobody <laughs> out here in the uh, top of the fifth inning. I'll guarantee he did not remember that pitcher being taken. Oh, he'll remember it when I show it to him. <laughs> the 0 1 pitch swung on and missed for strike number two. Ashley Bensley, Bensley in a hole now. No balls and two strikes. Now the 0-2 pitch outside for ball number one. It gets quiet when the pitcher delivers. You ever <laughs> notice that? It's kind of like the uh, the eclipse yesterday. The sun went in and everything got quiet. You're like, ooh, it's nighttime, and then two minutes later it gets loud again. You know, I wasn't a big solar eclipse fan uh, going into it. but One-two uh, pitch, swung on and missed for strike three and out number one here in the top of the fifth inning. That's going to bring in number five, Morgan Wright, the second baseman. She grounded out to first, her first time up. Got a great pitch by Bella Tatro there, really working hard to come back, taking the first uh, out of the inning and uh, leaving right now the Trojans on second and third base. 
Yeah, yeah, the, the eclipse though that was uh, kind of a neat experience yeah. obviously we're too old to ever see another one and uh, hey, speak you know, for yourself buddy i'm living till i'm 120 at least well you're already older than me <laughs> so that means i'll be like 100 when you're 120 so <laughs> we've got time out on the field here as uh head coach mike johnson or excuse me uh, rick johnson gonna uh take a trip to the circle and see what's going on as uh they may uh just be doing a little conference with the team and uh, going to do what they do, uh, do, see what they do here on the uh, batted ball as they have uh, two runners in scoring position. We'll take a quick break, come back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Big Z Sports with Claxon Communications. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. Welcome back to the to the hill in Sugar Creek. We're trying to add our ages up here to see if we can reach the next uh, next eclipse. In uh, 2099, uh, I'm going to be 123. I don't think I'll be around. I already had a heart a heart surgery back last spring. I don't think I'll make it to another. <laughs> Punt it out front. It's going to be a safety squeeze, and uh, now they have the runners off the bag, and she's going to be safe at third as the runner from second went almost <laughs> all the way to third thinking she was going to score on that bunt. But uh, Tatro did the smart thing is throw it back to third to get the runner back. So we're going to have bases loaded now on the uh, on the bunt by Morgan Wright. He's going to take us back to the top of the order, and look who's up. The freshman, number four, Ellie Wallach, has a chance to do some damage with the bases loaded and only one Lady Trojan out on the uh, inning. Top of the fifth inning, Garraway leads 1-0. Bases loaded, one out. Steps in the freshman, Ellie Wallach. I'll tell you, the freshman, Morgan Wright, again, great bunt. Put it right down in front of the home plate. Really put a lot of pressure on the Pirates. First pitch is going to be outside for ball number one. <laughs> now you got the Tusky Valley uh, girls uh, doing their cheers and rooting on their teammates. The 1-0 pitch is going to be high inside for ball number two. Big shout out to Chad Wallach. He just texted me, said, hey, I'm watching in Columbus. So uh, that's why he's not here today. And uh, you know, I know uh, his mom, his wife Danny's at home with Wyatt after surgery today on his wisdom teeth. But uh, catching out our, our live stream. Big thanks to Claxon Communications for that, so the the parents can check out what Ellie does here on the 2-0 pitch. Line to shortstop, and she is out. They're going to get the double play at first base, but that was a huge, huge play by the defense for the Garraway Lady Pirates. Ellie Wallach put a charge in that one, and the shortstop was able to snag it, and they doubled off the runner at first to end the inning. So after four and a half, the score remains. Garraway one, Tusky Valley nothing. Back after this with Big Z Sports. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting harslers.com. Bottom of the fifth inning, one nothing. Garraway leads the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. As the Lady Trojans had the bases loaded, one out, and Ellie Wallach lined, smoked one to shortstop, and the shortstop made a great play, doubled off the runner at first to get out of the inning, and now the Pirates back up. Leading off, number 25, Nadia Pope. She takes one low for ball number one. It's Pope, Glazier, and Yoder. Yeah, just unfortunate for the Trojans again. Great hit by Wallach right to the shortstop. Her previous bat, she drilled it right to the third base. Uh, again, just uh, 
just not able to find the hole yet this game. But, uh, again, just uh, unlucky there for the Trojans. Doubles them right up. And that ball would have been a foot higher or a foot to the right or left. It probably would have been a base hit, and a couple runs probably would have scored. As Pope takes strike number one. Two balls and one strike now to Pope, the center fielder for the Lady Pirates. He hit Adam balls the last couple times, did Wallach. Two and one. Swung on and lined into right field for a base hit. Nice hit there from Nadia Pope to get the Pirates on their way here in the top. Bottom of the fifth inning. It's going to bring up number 19, Kalea Glazier, the right fielder. I'll tell you, that's the first hard hit by the Pirates all game. Uh, again, Brendan Reichman doing a great job pitching. That was a solid hit to the right side of the field and really the first, uh, first hard hit by the Pirates. First pitch to Glazier. She squares to bunt it. Dead bounced in the batter's box, and uh, it's going to be a dead ball as Glazier tries to put the bunt down. Going to be a foul ball. So no balls in, one strike. Glazier struck out looking her first time up. But the ball ended up hitting her, and thankfully she was uh, still in that box, and uh, that's considered a foul ball at that point. If you're out of that box, that ball hits you. You are out. Glazier, the 0-1 pitch now. Going to be bunted again back to the screen this time uh, to make it no balls and two strikes. Glazier only a sophomore for the Lady Pirates. Timeout on the field as Coach Johnson wants to talk to his sophomore right fielder. Again, good piece of coaching by Rick Johnson there. Just taking, like I said, the sophomore and just kind of calming her down a little bit. And She's in a uh, little precarious position being down to no balls and two strikes and just trying to get the ball in play. Coach Johnson gets his message across, and Glazer takes a couple practice swings and steps back in the box. She's back in the box now. She was up in the front like she was going to bunt. Bunt probably off with two strikes. The 0-2 pitch swung on and popped up down the right field line, and that's going to go out of play and foul. Count remains at no balls and two strikes. Ashley Yoder on deck. Grace Yoder in the hole with a runner on first. Nobody outs. Nobody out. Nadia Pope on first base after the single. Fouled off as Glazier stays alive with no balls and two strikes. Got a great defensive swing right there. Just getting a piece of it. Great pitch there. Is able to foul it off and, like we say, live for another pitch. Reichman doing a nice job in the circle. Change up to the back of the screen, and that's going to advance the runner, Pope, to second base on the wild pitch. So it's one ball and two strikes now to Glazer with a runner on second with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Garraway leads one to nothing. And the one-two pitch checks her swing. For ball number two, thought about it and was able to hold up that time. <laughs> Runs the count even now at two balls and two strikes. I give her credit. Usually they cannot hold it back, but she did. She did a great job, and 2-2 two -two now. The 2-2 two -two pitch swung on again, fouled away back behind us. The count remains even at two balls and two strikes. Again, got a great pitcher batting duel right here going right now, and this is probably, what, the ninth? Ninth pitch of this bat. Don't keep track of pitches, but if you say so, I'll let you say that's I'm about the ninth it. pitch. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going with it. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch. Swung on and dribbled to shortstop. She picks it, fires it in the dirt, and she cannot field it, does the first baseman. As Glazer reaches first, the runner advances around third and steps on the plate for run number two here in the bottom of the fifth inning. As that's going to be an error on the shortstop to allow Glazer to get to first. So again, you saw the shortstop right there took a took a step towards first and slid on the uh, the turf here on the hill and uh, made an errant throw just with that slide. Turf can get wet. You get mud with the dirt, but uh, turf will get wet after the rain. We did have have some rain earlier in the ball game. Going to bring up number eight, Ashley Yoder, the left fielder. She struck out looking her first time up. And a runner on first. That's Glazer. She reached on an air. Reichman gets her sign, looks down to her wristband. 
Twisting the ball in her hand. Now delivers. Turn around and bunt. The inside. I guess, nope. He yep. called that a strike <laughs> on the inside corner for strike one. Kind of a delayed call by the home plate umpire. Kind of got to wait for him sometimes. Now the 0-1 pitch. She squares the bunt. She offered at it. That's going to be strike number two. So no balls and two strikes now to Ashley Yoder. Tusky Valley doing a lot better job on their toes to cover that bunt right there. Coach McConkey giving them directions. And the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, driven past the third baseman who was in, protecting against the bunt, and that's going to be a base hit for Ashley Yoder, her first of the ball game. And now they have runners on first and second with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And it takes us back to the top of the order. And Grace Yoder, who is 0 for 2 on the day, she struck out and popped out to first base. Talking earlier, you know, there's a big advantage when you're going through here for the second time. You know, you, you've seen the pitcher already and kind of kind of get a look at her. And uh, it looks like the Gateway Pirates are taking advantage of that and getting some, uh, I guess, metal on the ball right now. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're getting finding the open gaps and some hard hits. We got a visit to the pitching circle by uh, assistant coach for the Tuskegee Valley Lady Trojans. We'll keep it right here as it looks like it's going to be just a quick talk as pitcher down a little bit, settle her down, and uh, get her back at it with nobody out here in the time, the bottom of the fifth inning. Garraway leads two to nothing. Been a pitcher's duel for the most part here tonight. Going to bring in Grace Yoder. She is 0 for 2 on the day. Like I said, struck out and popped out to the first base, or popped out to the pitcher, excuse me. <laughs> Another cheer by the Garraway Pirates. As Yoder attempted to bunt at that, she missed it. It's going to be strike number one. You know, seeing our schedule for uh, Z Sports coming up here, and we got a lot of games we're covering up, and it just kind of reminds you how blessed we are, the kind of talent we have here, you know, around us in Z Country right now, both on the girls, the softball side, and the boys on the baseball side. Uh, you know, check out those websites and uh, Facebook social media pages and uh, stay on top of it. Like you say, subscribe to the YouTube channel because there is a lot of good baseball and softball coming here in the next uh, few weeks uh, from Z Sports. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be um, a lot of good games and uh, going to be a strike over the inside corner for strike number two. One ball and two strikes now to Grace Yoder. Coming up tomorrow, weather permitting, of course, uh, we'll be over at Strasburg for Connaughton Valley in Strasburg. Myself and Shannon Thomas will be on the call for that. And then Thursday, Nick and Shannon will have Strasburg Indian Valley, and that ball is going to be high for ball number two. And then Friday, you're back at it, Stump. You have Strasburg at Connaughton Valley. You and Nick, you'll get to see that matchup on Friday night. Again, weather permitting. So that's the rest of the week here for Big Z Sports. A 2-2 pitch. Just inside and low for ball number three. Runs the count even, or a full, excuse me, at three balls and two strikes. Yeah, tomorrow and Friday, got the strasburg uh, Connaughton Valley matchups in softball. And again, those are always great matchups. Really looking forward to those. Swung on and driven to center field. And I could not tell where that ball went. I guess the second baseman uh, yep. caught that. And uh, this is going to be a, I thought it went out to center field as a short <laughs> pop up behind second base. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the rain tent kind of blocked my view there. I apologize. <laughs> pop out to the second baseman for out number one. People think I'm drunk. <laughs> going to bunt the ball down, and it's going to pop up. And as she is going to be out, is Bell Tatro. As that is out number two, she tried to get the bunt down, and it popped it straight up. Nice job by the catcher for the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans, Ariana Wade, to make that catch for out number two. Again, big out for the Trojans as well. Again, uh, Garraway with runners on first and second, and uh, the second out of the inning. Krista Miller steps in now, swings hardy at the first one for strike number one. No balls and one strike. 
Man, uh, Brennan Reichman seemed to put a little bit of heat behind that one. That one came in quick. It'll be low and inside for ball number one to Krista Miller. Got accused of being blind by a listener. <laughs> I'm sure it's the first time. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Never been accused of that in my life. <laughs> One inside corner for strike number two. So one ball and two strikes to Krista Miller. She scored a run after she singled. She's one for two on the day. And a one-two pitch. Swung on and fouled off down the right field line. Count remains at one ball and two strikes. Fouled off at the plate and back to the Ooh. to the screen. Count remains again with one ball and two strikes. One run run in for the Lady Pirates here in the inning. Nadia Pope singled and came around to score on the ball batted by Clay Glazier. That ball is going to be popped up down the right field line and out of our view and looks like it went out of play. Again, the count remains at one ball and two strikes. I'll take your word for it because that that corner of the field we are blind. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take our viewers that are watching to help me call that one down the right field line. I'm sure that one went out of play. So nobody screamed. Don't fire that. It's, it's out of play. Yeah. We're good. One ball and two <laughs> strikes. Outside corner, strike three called, and that's going to do it for the bottom of the fifth inning. But one run on a hit and a couple runners left for the Garraway Lady Pirates. And after five, the Pirates lead 2-0. Back after this with Big Z Sports. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone, and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Fad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way to TMK, service with a personal touch. Top of the sixth inning, 2 0. Garraway leads the Lady Trojans as Brenna Reichman steps in, takes ball one low from Bell Tatro. Reichman, the opposing pitcher, 0 for 2 on the day, swings and grounds one to third. Fielded, row on to first, pulls her off the bag. Nice job by Lexi Herb to field it and come off the bag and tag Reichman coming down the line for out number one. Yeah, like we saw in the other half of the inning, turf's a little slippery right now, and third baseman did a great job of uh, getting the ball and threw a little bit up the line, but great uh, thinking by the first baseman to tag her out. Mesa Brown steps in now, number 16, third baseman. She's 0 for 2, struck out and popped out to the first baseman. Inside corner for strike number one. So we got interrupted on the old uh, solar uh, eclipse yesterday. We did. Did you go out and watch it? I did, yep. I didn't uh, I didn't venture far from home as the 0-1 pitch is going to be swung on and driven down the right field line and over oh, the head right. of the right fielder. That's going to be extra bases for Brown as she steps on second and heads to third, slides into third with a triple as Mesa Brown gets a lead, uh, one-out triple here at the top of the sixth inning over the right fielder's head. And the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans in business here with one out and a runner on third. And that, that was a legitimate triple. That one, uh, if it didn't go all the way to the fence, it went dang close. That was a great hit. Uh, like I said, the winds kind of died down a little bit, and that thing took off. Going to bring in Delaney Erickson, the left fielder. She is two for two on the day, two singles. A uh, hit here would put the Lady Trojans on the board after the lead or the one-out triple by Mesa Brown. Ball high. 
off the arm of Tatro. Yeah, the Eclipse, I didn't venture far from home. I think we were 99.98% of the totality, yeah. of totality. I guess that's what they call it. Didn't feel like driving 45 minutes west. I probably should have. The 1-0 uh, pitch going to be swung on, and it's going to be caught by the second baseman for out number two. Yeah, I, uh, going into the event, you know, it, it is what it is and didn't think much of it. But, you know, after going through it, you know, that was wild. That, that was very cool. I saw a lot of videos, a lot of pictures. It looked really cool. And uh, what I saw, I mean, it got dark enough here in Sugar Creek to uh, to turn the street lights on. And uh, the birds got quiet yeah. as it was It was almost like it was 9 o'clock at night. It was a really cool experience and, uh, you know, uh, something I'm glad I was able to experience. And my parents who live down near Cincinnati, they were able to see totality for like four minutes or so. So they, uh, they were uh, – they're up and up in age a little bit, so that's uh, something they get to experience uh, before they uh, they move on. Chop down tough. the third base line, throw to first, got her for out number three. Nice play by the third baseman for the Garraway Lady Pirates, Grace Yoder. She fields it and fires it on to Lexi Herb for out number three. And after five and a half, Garraway still leads two nothing. Back after this with Big Z Sports. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the Realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Bottom of the sixth inning here on the hill in Sugar Creek. Joe Geckler, Aaron Stump here for Big Z Sports. Thanks to Tuscarawas Insurance Agency leading off for the Pirates. Kayla Miller takes a strike. No balls and one strike. Now she pops it up, and that's definitely going to get out of play. Back <laughs> behind us for strike number two. Have a fun conversation with the umpire in between innings, and he said, I'm afraid to make a mistake. I can hear you guys talking the whole time, and if I uh, <laughs> call a bad pitch, you're going to get on me. And I was like, oh, I'm just calling it as you call it. I, I, I will have to this guy has called a good, consistent game to this point. Absolutely. And, uh, the 0-2 pitch swung job. on and missed. And the runner does not leave the box, but they throw on down to get the out. So a two to three put out for out number one on the strikeout of Kayla Miller. Going to bring in Zoe Jump, the catcher. Yeah, he's done a nice job. He says uh, every time I call it on the inside corner, it's actually over the middle of the plate. So <laughs> just the angle, I see it as on the corner. I watch the catcher's glove a little bit. First pitch to jump just outside. Looked like that was on the outside corner there, and uh, looks like it might have been too far <laughs> off the outside corner. A little bit low. He, uh, he signaled low, like a little bit low. So uh, one funny. one ball and no strikes here <laughs> to jump. That's going to be high and outside for ball number two. We gotta get the uh, Z mic on the uh, umpire so we can, uh, you know, converse with like they do the Sunday night baseball. <laughs> yeah. You know, usually one of the players we get, we gotta converse with the umpires here. Probably the last thing they want. <laughs> You mean not to hear us? We get on the basketball officials enough. <laughs> we don't need to get on the baseball officials. Swing and a miss for strike number one uh, to Zoe Jump. Yeah, usually the, the softball uh, and the baseball umps are a lot closer to us. Than yes, the they basketball are. Officials. Basketball umps can't hear us until they go back and watch uh, the broadcast, and then uh, we get talked to at the next game we have them. Inside corner that time for strike number two. That didn't look like it was over the middle of the plate. That looked like it caught the inside <laughs> corner as I get the nod from the home plate umpire. So two balls and two strikes now to Zoe Jump. Having some fun here late in the game. 2 nothing. Garraway leads. 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. And out number two of the bottom of the sixth inning. That's Brennan Reichman's tenth strikeout of the game. Doing a great job up to this point, keeping uh, Garraway off balance and 
Again, last inning, Garraway got a couple hard hits off her, able to play a little bit more small ball and get the run in for a 2-0 lead. As Lexi Herb swings and misses at the first offering, she is 0 for 1 of the day. She walked and struck out her last at bat. Reichman delivers the 0-1 pitch, swung on and missed. Four strike number two. Quick shout out, um, one of our uh, favorite producers for Claxton Communi Communications, Lydia Brady, uh, watching at home today and uh, still heal healing up from uh, some injuries she has suffered last fall. And uh, we wish uh, Lydia the best as Herb uh, fouls it off back to the screen. But, uh, you know, she texted me a little bit ago and said, man, it's great to hear you back on uh, softball, baseball in the spring. Of course, my uh, – my uh, spring and uh, summer was cut short last year, but uh, Lydia at home watching, and we appreciate that, Lydia, and uh, we're thinking about you, praying for you, as always. Can't wait to have you back. Line drive into right center field. That's going to be a base hit for Lexi Erb, and the Pirates stay alive with two, body, uh, two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Going to bring up number 25, Nadia Pope. Yeah, Lydia's uh, been a big part of Claxon Communications. Uh, you know, we've had her on a lot of games. She does a great job, and uh, can't wait for her to – to be back and uh, laugh with her a little bit, joke around with her, and she's a lot of fun during football, man. You don't get to, I get to, like she's like my personal producer in football, so uh, I get her a lot uh, every Friday night, and uh, we have a lot of fun uh, for a lot of Friday nights in the fall as Nadia Pope takes one low for ball one. So that, hopefully that, she'll be back in the fall, and uh, I'll get my producer back uh, in the fall. I'm not, I'm not sure that's going to help her come back if uh, you say she's I know, stuck I keep, with you again. I know if she if she's stuck with me, she <laughs> may be like, ah, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this. Yeah, let, me, yeah. let me go a different direction. I need another couple months. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till he's done. But nope, Lydia, thoughts and prayers as you continue to recover, and we can't wait to see you again here down the road. The one-one pitch, swing and a miss for strike number two. As Pope. With a hefty cut at that one. One ball and two strikes now. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Garraway leads 2 nothing. Reichman delivers. Change up outside for ball number two. Count even now at two balls and two strikes. Pope singled her first time, up, or her last time up, I should say. 2-2 pitch. Inside corner, strike three. And that's going to do it for the bottom of the sixth inning as the Garraway Pirates have three outs to get the win here tonight. After six, Garraway two, Tusky Valley nothing. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Do you hunt, fish, sow, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with pigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Top of the seventh inning, first pitch going to be popped up to center field and caught by the center fielder for the Garraway Lady Pirates, Nadia Pope for out number one, and that was Emma Renneker. First pitch, one out here in the top of the seventh. Got to hurry up and get back from uh, our sponsors, don't we? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, one pitch, one out. In a couple of innings, we had two pitches and two outs. And that's going to bring in Ariana Wade, the catcher for the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. She reached on an air her last time up, stranded at second base. Pitch by Tatro. It's going to be low for ball one. Yeah, fun, uh, fun time of the year. You get college basketball, gets their championships in, and uh, now we start watching uh, college uh, baseball and softball. And 
Major League Baseball and all sorts of fun right now. It really means uh, summer's really right around the corner. Summer is here, you know. It's uh, the 1st of April. Still feels like winter right now out here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it felt like spring earlier and the rain rolled in and it cooled it off as a 1-1 pitch. Change up, fouled off to the screen here. Count now at one ball and two strikes to Ariana Wade, the catcher for the Lady Trojans. Did a nice job waiting on it. Just couldn't quite get the bat on the ball there. Yeah, so uh, basketball's over. Baseball starts uh, the spring and summer and softball and and uh, lots of stuff going to take place over the next few months. And then we'll be right back at football as she fouls off another one. Count remains at one ball and two strikes. You know, spring and summer, it seems like it goes so fast, and then we're all of a sudden like, oh, football's here, and then we're like, crap. <laughs> that means cold weather after that. So Everybody wants football to come back, but I'm like, man, give me some warm weather for a while. Now I'll, I'll take baseball and softball for a while. It'll be high for ball number two. Two balls and two strikes to Ariana Wade. Seven, eight, nine, and hopefully to get back to the top of the order, the Trojans trail by two, two nothing here, top of the seventh inning. Two two pitch, gonna be high for ball number three. Runs the count full now at three balls and two strikes. One out here in the top of the seventh inning. Emma Renneker on the first pitch flew out to center field. Getting great eye there by Ariana again. Uh, tough to lay off those ones up by your eyes, but a great discipline there takes her to full count. And the break even pitch. Swung on and fouled at the plate. Ooh, and it looks like I got the catcher. Catcher, they're calling yep. catcher's interference she and hit the glove. Now I think uh, she got up in the the uh, too close to the uh, home plate, and when she swung, it hit her in the elbow. Yeah, hit her in and the elbow. Called the uh, catcher's uh, interference on that one. Goes to first base. So catcher's interference. You don't see that called very often in a softball or baseball game, but uh, when it is called, it's uh, kind of a unique thing, you know, uh, the, either yeah. hits the glove or or the, or the you got to make contact with the catcher some way with the bat, and we'll see what happens here with the catcher for the Garraway Lady Pirates, and that's Zoe Jump. Probably not a comfortable thing right now, is especially being a little bit chilly out here, and the the bat either got her on the hand or the wrist, it looks like, uh, as they're checking the trainers, checking her out. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and we'll finish up the seventh inning here after this with Big Z Sports. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. homeowners are you ready to give your home a spring makeover the wayne door annual spring sale is happening april 1st through the 6th get ready to save big on garage doors entry doors windows and more it's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank visit our dover and cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts let's make that spring dream a reality and don't forget for every 500 dollars spent enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes visit waynedoor.com for more details and we'll see you april 1st through the 6th for the wayne door annual spring sale Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Welcome back to the top of the seventh inning after an injury timeout. It's nice to see Zoe jump back behind the plate if she uh, got nicked on her arm there by the bat or something happened there with her arm. So she's back in there, said, nope, I'm going to finish this one out here tonight as jump gets back behind the plate. Tatro has the uh, next batter she's going to face, and that's going to be number 20, 21, Ashley Bensley. First pitch to her right over the heart of the plate for strike one. Again, those uh, those catchers are a different breed. Uh, you got to be tough to be behind that plate, and uh, there's a prime example of it. Yeah, catching uh, you have to be uh, be a tough cookie back there. If not, uh, you're not going to make it very long. 
The 0 1 pitch going to be high for ball number one. So no. 8 9 and 1 with one out here. Runner on first after the catcher's interference. That's Ariana Wade. Lady Trojans trying to get back to the top of the order to get some runs on the board. Swing and a miss for strike number two. Tell you what, if that was uh, either one of us at our ages, man, our, our arms probably would have fallen off to take that hit like that. I'd have been crying uh, like yeah, a baby. It's, it's probably been, yeah, done. One ball and two strikes to Bensley. She's over two on the day with two strikeouts. Outside corner for strike three, and that's going to be out number two for the Garraway Lady Pirates. And Morgan Wright steps in with two outs now. Here in the top of the seventh, Garraway leads 2 nothing. Wright has grounded out to the third baseman and singled her last at bat. First pitch to right was ball number one. On deck, Ellie Wallach. Swing and a miss by right. Evens the count at one ball and one strike. Runner on first after the catcher's interference. Two outs here, top of the seventh inning. Number nine hitter Morgan Wright has a 1-1 count. Again, Ellie Wallach on deck. Stung the ball twice here tonight. It's going to be on the outside corner for strike number two. Morgan Wright now in a hole at one ball and two strikes. And the uh, Trojans bench, they haven't given up. They, uh, they're they still loud and proud right now. One-two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three, and that's going to do it as the Garraway Lady Pirates get the win here. Two-nothing over the Lady Trojans of Tusky Valley on the strikeout of Morgan Wright to end the ball game. Again, final score here from Garraway, the Lady Pirates two, the Lady Trojans nothing. Back after this with our Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show and our McIntyre Freelty player of the game. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting Hartzler's.com. Final score again here today at Garraway High School. The Lady Pirates knock off the Lady Trojans of Tusky Valley 2-0. We are in our Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show. Joe Geckler and Aaron Stump here as we start our postgame show. And uh, Stumpy, uh, what a great game by both teams here today. Pitching really did it as uh, Bell Tatro with nine strikeouts. The last I had for Reichman, I believe she had 11. 11 yep. And so a great pitching matchup, a pitcher's duel. I love seeing it in baseball and in softball. I love the action in softball. I love to see the offense. But, man, when you get two great pitchers, uh, you uh, get to see some good softball. Yeah, both pitchers, like you said, really stepped up, had great games. You know, you hate to see either pitcher uh, lose it today. Uh, again, Garraway just had those C&I dogs, you know, had those really timely hits, uh, you know, got 
through the infield a little bit. Nothing you really could do if you're the Trojans. And again, the Trojans hit some, uh, but right to the Garraway who played solid defense uh, throughout the entire game. So again, it, it takes a little bit of a skill, a little bit of luck to win a softball game. Garraway had it today. Tusky Valley didn't have it. And there's your Two nothing score. Absolutely, a lot of scoring uh, late in the ball game for the Garraway Lady Pirates. They got on the board back in the, I believe it was the see first, second, third. Back in the fourth inning, they get a run. In the fifth inning, they get a run. So uh, one run in the fourth, one run in the fifth uh, was enough for the Lady Pirates to get their win here today. They bounce back after a tough defeat to the Lady Quakers of New Philadelphia on Saturday, and of course uh, the Lady Trojans. Man, they battled hard today, and uh, they uh, still looking for that first win, but man, they, they faced a great pitcher in Beltetro and they did some good things today. They just could not push any runs across. Yeah, it, and like we said, you know, just, just a little bit of unlucky today. Uh, did a nice job. Again, you're facing a great pitcher uh, in Tetro there and, and again, kind of settled down once they got into the game a little bit. Had some hard hits. Like you said, Ellie Wallach had two hard man, hits. Man, smoked one, the ball twice. White right to third, right to shortstop and uh, again, just not timely uh, RBIs for them, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but again, they're young. It's going to be a long season. You really haven't had a lot of games to play to this point. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I expect them and uh, Coach McConkie to, to kind of rally here later in the season, get stronger, and uh, get a few wins under their belt. Absolutely. And again, we're in our Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show, and I'll throw it to you for uh, your vote for our McInturf Realty Player of the Game. I tell you, we talked about it. It's got to be one of the pitchers. And uh, tonight, uh, Bell Tatro, who uh, came through uh, for Garraway on the winning team, uh, I think he said she had, what, 11 strikeouts. Uh, for the, I'm sorry, nine, nine yeah, strikeouts. Nine, nine, yep, strikeouts. nine strikeouts. Sorry uh, for the Garraway Pirates and uh, held Tusky Valley in check. Uh, never really gave them uh, any threats. They, uh, again, Tusky Valley had a couple on third, I believe, at one point. Uh, did a great job. Got a double play there uh, behind that. But uh, overall, a great job. You can tell she's a senior. She stays nice and calm. You know, stays within her game. You, you were dealing with the elements tonight as well and uh, really did a nice job. Absolutely. So uh, I will second that in our uh, vote. And our McInturf Realty player of the game tonight is going to be Bell Tatro, the senior pitcher. Seven innings pitch. She only gave up four hits, nine strikeouts, no runs. And, of course, got the win in the circle for the Lady Pirates as they knock off Tusky Valley, two to nothing. That's going to do it here from Garraway High School. Big thanks to our Claxon Communications crew and uh, one of my new favorite producers, Sean Troyer, uh, helping us out here today. And, uh, you know, Sean's moving up the ranks. He's already uh, probably number two. Uh, he's got to do a couple more games for me, and uh, we'll see where he ends up uh, on the producer rank. But Lydia Lydia holds that spot pretty yeah, tight yeah. right now. But too Sean, late, buddy. Too Sean late. I know, I'm, I'm working it. I'm working it. Sean uh, did a great job. Uh, Cl Casey Claxon, of course, the big guy here tonight helping out and and uh, making sure Sean stays on task, and he did a great job. Uh, help from the camera guys today as well, Logan McPeak and Carson Zoller. We appreciate their help as well tonight. But again, final score here from Garraway. Thanks One final time, Garraway wins 2-0 over Tusky Valley. For Aaron Stump, I'm Joe Geckler saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this Claxon Communications production of High School Sports on the Big Z Sports YouTube channel. For the latest news and scores, follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter at Big underscore Z Sports, and on Instagram. Don't miss any of the live stream coverage all season long by simply subscribing for free to Big Z Sports on our YouTube channel. For the best in high school sports coverage, there is only one Big Z Sports.